here we are on the outside, outskirts of Athlone. Athlone is in the centre of Ireland. Um, it's only approximately 19 miles from Ballygar, um, but very much the centre of Ireland. And it was here that Gilmore came approximately 1843 to learn the, his, uh, his trade of um, musicianship um, and become a, a world-class bandmaster and conductor. So here is the entrance, if you like, of Athlone. So we'll see you inside in the town of Athlone shortly. Slon. Welcome to Athlone. This is the junction of Pier Street and Connacht Street and Bastion Street. Uh, are as it is at this end O'Connell Street. This building here would have been Fallon's pub. How are you? This is Fallon's pub where Gilmore um, served his time with the fake doors in front of it there but it gives you an idea of what exactly was in there. Um, he, so he would have stayed in one of these upstairs rooms now boarded up and down the street there, uh, Pier Street down the hill, um, if you can see um, a lovely building on the left hand side called Mellet and Carl, that would have been, we look at that from another point of view, that was his teacher's um, home, um, Patrick Keating. So not far from where he was staying for the six years. And in these streets, he would have also experienced the um, the marching bands from the. Um, from the garrison and it was a new experience from we we'll go a little bit farther now and so looking straight up here street at the very end on the left hand side um, was and that high building would have been Fallon's pub and that's where Gilmore um, that's where Gilmore uh, served his apprenticeship and down here, um, we, we get a, hello. Down here, we will zoom in on this building here. And this plaque. Pita Kebab House, very nice. You should come eat. Bang, bang. <laughs> Thanks for ruining it. And here is... Here is the plaque for Patrick Keating, the teacher of Patrick Sarsfield Gilmore, or as he was then Patrick Stephen Gilmore. And it was in this building that um, Gilmore learned his skills, uh, along with his very, very good friend, um, Patsy Galvey. And you can only imagine that they would, all, all of those young lads would congregate here. And I'll show you, the building was um, I believe um, 
of pawnbrokers. Uh, Patrick Keating uh, taught uh, all of the children of the area and um, taught them how to play instruments and so on and so forth. But he also composed himself. He composed a piece of music. We will see a bridge shortly, which was uh, dedicated to the um, um, uh, the Queen of England at the time, Queen Victoria. Why? Because the railway had just been expanded from here, and the piece of music was called Overture to Irish Rail, uh, our Irish Railways, and it was presented to Queen Victoria. She reputedly um, would um, have this piece pay played every year on her birthday because she felt that this was the Irish people saying thank you to her. He, Keating also composed a piece of music to Napoleon uh, and Napoleon is reputed and it is reported as well as having um, uh, sent him a medal and a letter of thanks uh, for his wonderful composition. Um, also letters went to the King of Denmark and to the then Pope. And I suppose what Keating was trying to do, he was a highly talented individual, but he had no hope of furthering himself uh, as a Catholic uh, with um, uh, the restrictions that were put on him, uh, like so many others in the army and so on here. And that would have been one of the reasons why Keating, according to Gilmore, uh, implored on a young lad to um, leave, go to Lan Lanzafar. So there you are. I'll be back with a little bit more now from here. And here is the uh, frontal view of um, Patrick Keating's old uh, store. And um, it was in here no more than a hundred yards from uh, his lodging, uh, his, uh, um, the, the uh, business he was learning his trade in, that, uh, key, that um, Gilmore would come down and learn more along with Ganley and so on. And they would um, equally watch and listen and learn from the bands that were coming down that hill. And the narrow streets, of course, were magnifying the sounds of the bands as they played towards the bridge. And we'll head towards that now. Thank you. Here is the birthplace of T.P. O'Connor, 1848, died 1929. Now, why is he important? And what, li what link has he with Gilmore? First of all, he was a childhood friend of um, Michael Kilkelly that we saw um, his birthplace from uh, Bastion Street. He was an MP in the House of Parliament um, for the Parnell Parliamentary Party. He was present in Madison Square Gardens in, um, in uh, 1886 on the 14th of February when Gilmore uh, held concerts there uh, to raise money for the Parnell, Parnell Parliamentary Party funds. And he also sponsored one of the first bills that was ever brought before the Westminster Parliament on the subject of um, on the subject of copyright and protecting music uh, rights for the publisher and uh, for the uh, author. Um, a wonderful man and part of the Atlone heritage in music. Um, so as we're doing this, uh, um, as we're panning here, I just want to give you an idea of what uh, this um, 
is like. This is St. Peter's Church today and right beside it is the wonderful medieval castle. Athlone is a wonderful place to visit and a wonderful place to have a drink including Sean's Bar down the hill here.